Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Hinders with 977 rating versus Lorenzo Musuli YouTube with 792 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, also make sure to go ahead and check out Lorenzo Musuli's YouTube channel, link down below at the very top of the description, and then we're going to see Lorenzo win the rock paper scissors shoot, and they will decide to go first, 42 versus 44, we got Ash, Ricardito, Kestira Riseheart, Durendal, Oliver, they have Black Witch, Book of Eclipse, Preventer, Veiler, Fire Attacker. So, okay. Uh, this Ash Blossom could potentially end the turn. Special Summon out Black Witch, Discard, Fire Attacker. And then Black Witch Effect goes set Snake Eye. Also interesting, the main deck Fire Attacker. Uh, we haven't really seen that too much in main decks at least. And then Book of Eclipse. Uh, we've been seeing this in more and more Rescue Ace main decks. And then Snake Eye, Send, Chain Ash, Set Eclipse, Pass, they draw Nib, and then Normal Summon, Rise Heart, and then Activate Durendal Effect to try to go ahead and search. They're going to go ahead, search out Renos, uh, didn't you finish top 4 in Dortmont? Yes. Nice. Okay, Summon out Renaud, Renaud Effect, go ahead, add back the Durendal, use those to make the Angelica, Angelica Effect on Summon, grab Museum. And then they're going to, yeah, go ahead, activate it, pay 1,200, go search out Almis, and then activate Durendal onto Angelica, effect, banish, summon Captain Roland, dump Turpin, and then Turpin effect, equip to Captain Roland, museum effect to try to special summon out, said so think on the res of that. Okay, wait. So... Wait, I'm confused. Okay, so this is equipped to this, obviously. We use the graveyard effect of this to equip to that. So, what we should have done is instead of on the res of this, we should have waited until they activate museum effect, right? They go activate, target is cost, and then you go chain link to book of eclipse, and then this gets set. This gets sent to graveyard because it's an equip spell. And then this doesn't resolve because the card's in the graveyard. So we could have made them go through museum effect, where now they haven't gone through museum second effect. So that's obviously a little bit of a misplay. Discard Ricardito, bring out Oliver, activate Almace, and then Turpin effect a special summon back out from the graveyard. Okay, and now we can use Turpin plus Oliver to make a soul to soul chain link one, Almace chain link two, grab back Oliver, they're gonna chain Valor onto a soul. Um obviously should have uh maybe should have waited like two seconds just because now they get Oliver to hand then yeah, now they're going to go ahead, go up into a sold number two, which now we get the special summon effect of this to go on the OGR, OGR effect on Magius, Magius effect to put back and draw, and then also, you know, they haven't used the special summon effect in Museum yet, they draw Fenrir, make SP, SP effect, banish the Black Witch, Magius effect to equip, Oliver effect to equip, OGR effect to equip, end phase, flip, draw and then pass okay so i guess just like little things um we never did museum effect the special maybe it's because we strictly wanted them all attached to this which is like sure um could have summoned one of them out just for an extra body extra damage could have attacked with, you know, a sold and stuff before they made SP and used SP effect to banish from the opponent's graveyard. Maybe they didn't even think about using SP effect until they summoned it and then they realized, like, oh, they have Snake Eye plus Black Witch. I don't want them to get Snake Eye effect to go search for a Hydrant. So, they drew one at end phase, sadly drew a Fenrir, passed, they drew Ash Blossom, okay, but it doesn't matter because they drew Ash Blossom. So, moving on to game two now. We're going to go ahead and see Rescue Ace go first. Opening hands. We got Fire Flint, Lady, Turpin, Museum, DD Crow, Nib. They have Alert, Nib, Fire Engine, Ash, Black Witch. Okay, so Fire Engine plus Fire Attacker. I mean, once you see Fire Attacker in the main deck, you can, like, kind of assume there's also Fire Engine in the main deck because this is the more common one. 
Um, but then they got Black Witch. Okay, once again, though, their hand is literally just Black Witch and Prey. But this time it actually works because, you know, the hand traps aren't Ash or anything like that to stop this. So, Black Witch sets Snake Eye. Snake Eye, Sun, go summon, bring out Hydrant. And then Hydrant effect to go search. Also, our alert is live to search. So, go search airlifter, summon airlifter, effect to go search. Wonder what combo they're going for. They are playing over 40. Maybe a sold. Go search emergency. Then activate alert to search out turbulence. And then summon out turbulence by banishing. Oh, they said, wait, think on the ad. Okay. They are doing this because they're currently on summon number three. So if they crow, then they're forced to hydrant in the link Kribo, then turbulence, which puts them at summon number five on turbulence summon. Okay, but the problem is, is they're going to make an SP. Yeah, they're going to make an SP. Make link Kribo, make SP, SP effect. Banish Airlifter, summon out Turbulence by banishing two from the graveyard. Just getting as many banished there as possible. And then on summon, activate Nib. This is going to stay in hand because they're going to SP banish itself plus Turbulence. And then, yup, Nib stays in hand. And now they have Emergency that they can activate here. So Emergency can go ahead, summon Preventer, send Preventer. And then we can get Preventer effect to summon back out Turbulence. And then Turbulence effect to set four. So, go ahead, Turb Effect, set four, you know, we know that they have Nib in their hand, uh, that's just a brick at this point, it's gonna stay there. Go ahead, set four, set Rescue, both Traps, Emergency, we already went through Alert to get to this point. And then, End Phase, get back SP, they draw Imperm, uh, and they just start with Museum, so they don't try to Imperm SP there, they don't believe they need to do that. Museum Effect, Chain Ash, and then... Yeah, they admit defeat. They said misclick. Yikes. Um, like, on discarding the imperm there, because it had museum. I mean, it should have just started with imperm. But on to the next game. We're going to go ahead and we are going to see hinders go first. We got snake eye, museum, heritage of the chalice, called by imperm. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. They have airlifter, preventer, emergency, impulse, nib. Okay, so this isn't this isn't just over right away though, because they do have Nib, they have Impulse, they also play Fire Attacker, activate Heritage of the Chalice, go search Ogier, then activate Museum, Museum, pay 12, search out Durendal, then normal Ogier, Ogier effect, Chain Impulse, they let this go through. So that's going to go summon out Fire Attacker, which, like, you know, that's very good. Um, they also didn't resolve Ogier. They said, oh, I need to jump for Ogier too. Yeah, dump Gear Freed. And then Durendal, grab Renaud. And then activate Fire Attacker to draw two, discard. Draw Wanted, Ash Blossom. There we go, another hand trap. Um, wait, 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 wait. Yup, wait. I have to discard one. So discard Emergency. And then Renaud, add back Gear Freed. Uh, then on Renon effect, activate airlifter effect to summon preventer. Okay, they should have waited until they gave a response, cause now this is like ah uh, ah uh, uh, now ah uh, sucks, cause they declared the effect instantly summoned from hand, and now it's like yeah obviously we're gonna called by this because it's a guaranteed preventer, cause we saw you summon it from hand. Otherwise, like would we have called by airlifter? If we don't know for a fact that Preventer is in hand, I don't know. I don't know. Would they have done it? I don't know. Nobody would have known, and now we'll never know. Summon Gear Freed by Banishing, and then go... I'm sorry. We just turned Gear Freed plus Ogier into a Baron. The opponent better catch this. <laughs> There's no shot! Right? Right? A Baron plus Ogier? That's not, it's not even close. It is supposed to be Renaud. Renaud's the tuner. Renaud plus Gear Freed. But then Ogier is on field, so then we make Baron. And we can't just Ogier. Huh? Huh? 
Ah, uh, am I? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me like four seconds. Okay, so Renon, Ogier, grab back your freed, summon gear freed. Okay, yep, yep, they're tripping. They're tripping. I was gonna say, I gotta make sure I'm not the one tripping here and making sure I'm not stupid. Because I definitely have had that happen. But Baron pop fire attacker, which probably shouldn't even do there in case he drew Imperm on fire attacker. Um, then Angelica effect, chain Ash Blossom on that. They said thank you. Uh, then they're going to Baron to negate Ash Blossom. So we can search museum, activate museum, museum, pay 12, go search, grab out Durendal. Okay, activate Durendal on Angelica, Angelica effect, tag out, dump Turpin, summon Captain Roland, Turpin effect to equip, museum effect to special, use those to make Emperor Charles, uh, Captain Roland effect to equip, go up into Emperor Charles the Great, effect to equip the Synchro, Turpin effect to special summon out, then on that summon activate Nib, because their next play is probably Baron plus Turpin into an SP Little Knight. So they're going to go ahead, tribute the field now, and then pass over the token. Okay, and then they're going to go token up into the Link Spider. Um, wait. Museum says that special summon it. Also, if you activated this effect while you did not control an in Infernoble Emperor Charles, you can ask special monsters for the rest of the turn except for warriors. Wait. Wait. When did we use it? No, 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 yeah, we're definitely locked. What am I talking about? Yeah, because we had Captain Roland, and then we summoned out a Turpin. So we're definitely locked there. I don't remember if we were locked from earlier this turn. I don't think so, but we're definitely locked off that. So we should have been locked there. Uh, but now they're going to, you know, make Link Spider, Snake Eye it away into Ricardito, affect someone back OG. They could have also just sent Museum for the Snake Eye there, though. And then go up into a soul, the soul effect, grab connector, and then a soul effect, go ahead, dump four, summon out Magius. Oh, true, that was their next play. It was a soul, it wasn't SP. They haven't gone through a soul yet. What am I talking about? So they would have used Baron plus Turpin to make a soul. And then they would have gone a soul effect to search, a soul effect, try to dump and summon. So maybe we should have just held Nib until then. Until they committed the assault. Because I was thinking the next play was SP. But. No. Why would it be that? Because they haven't even dumped Angelica's ring yet. Phoenix Blade. Anything like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it was just always assault next there for them. Alright. Then turn those into SP. SP1. Magius 2. Or it was most likely going to be assault next. Most likely. You know. It could have still been SP. But most likely it would have been assault. Oh! My gosh, Magius in the talents at the end of the combo, are you kidding me? Look at the hand, Preventer, plus Wanted, they just SP banished from their graveyard. They said hit Wanted, they said called by plus TTT drawn. Yeah, it's it, like, uh, called by plus talents is just the combo. They're simply better if they have it. And then set Imperm pass, they draw Nib. Okay, that is tough, because if you read Magius, it says it can't be destroyed by battle, so SP can't be destroyed by battle here. Whenever SP tags out, they get the draw one, they have Imperm set up, there's one blank, uh, Airlifter is currently under called by, so even if they could prevent her to Graveyard somehow, it just wouldn't matter. Yeah, chain SP in response to the effect, and then Preventer still banishes the summon, Magius effect, shuffle back his cost, and draw, put back Turpin, Durendal, Museum, draw on the Talons, nice, <laughs> and then Preventer attack, pass, get back SP, oh, oh, this was also supposed to come back like an entire turn ago, um... I guess nothing really changes except for Preventer's attack should be attacking over Angelica. That's really it. Instead of attacking directly, it should be attacking over that. Uh, they said, oh, she was there too. I guess uh, I'll have to accept game state or you want to replay it. Okay, well, this, it just definitely wouldn't be like an accepted game state. Um, they said you can proceed. I, I, I think it doesn't matter for the game. Yeah, I was going to say, this wouldn't be like an accepted game state for an Angelica like... 
this late. Um, definitely not a legal game state, but if the opponent is like, sure, I don't care, then sure, it just doesn't matter. Um, but okay, go main phase, normal summon connector, connector summon Aqua Dolphin in defense, effect, discard red layer, just to see what's in the hand, and then we take 500. Um, but you know, it is nib, so we need to, you know, make sure we don't mess up and accidentally lose to that. Bring out Durendal, Durendal in the Renaud. Then summon Renaud, Renaud effect, add back Gear Freed. We're on summon 3 currently, banish for Phoenix Blade, activate Phoenix Blade on Angelica, and then go up into another SP, SP banish preventer, summon gear freed by banishing, that's summon number 5, and then, yeah, they're just going to admit defeat, because they have Phoenix Blade up, and they just summon gear freed, so they can stop the nib in hand, they can beat over this nib, their top deck's not beating this. And they said, yeah, the set was imperm, said TTT draw was too good, yeah, yep. I mean, it is simple as that. I mean, like, Lorenzo played that game fairly good. Um, you know, the airlifter preventer thing, maybe they wouldn't have called by Maybe they would have. Again, that's something that we'll never truly know um, until, you know, I mean, but also why would they activate airlifter effect unless they had preventer in hand? Um... So maybe it's because they drew in the fire engine, and now they're trying to summon a fire engine from the hand. I don't know. That, you know, just a little too quick on that one, but I guess, you know, it doesn't really matter. And then, uh, I still believe they were warrior locked, for sure. So they should have had to send their museum, which they did use to search there. Uh, so maybe that could have ended up changing the game, too. Uh, just, like, not having the museum to search. Uh, maybe they wouldn't have been able to get easy access to gear freed there so then they wouldn't have been able to play through nib as well i don't know so then maybe something ends up changing or maybe this player ends up misplaying really bad because they don't have that play but all right i'm gonna go ahead and stop talking here uh seeing how long the match was the match was about 25 minutes long and like i said at the beginning make sure to go check out lorenzo's channel link down below at the very top of the description and yeah with all that being said the db grinder signing off peace have a nice day stay safe